Oh, good morning world. Okay, it's afternoon. <laughs> I so tried. I kept getting up and trying to see if I could see that darn blood moon. Okay, so there's more to the story, but I was in so much pain yesterday. That's the first plane that I've heard in a few days. So, as you can see, <laughs> the skies aren't so blue. But the fog that we had yesterday was so intense, you couldn't even see the trees. Okay, so we go from, you know, 80 degrees and all that, all of a sudden, tornadic stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. And it dipped down into the 50s, like, shortly after that. And rain. And then all this fog. Oh, they keep explaining it away, but we know better than that, right? Um... Okay, so who doesn't get the fact that, you know, the one world, everything is about to take place, right? We're about to enter into a new age. <laughs> oh, wow, how awesome. New beginnings. That brings me to this. This is just no coincidence. There's a couple things, actually. Number one, I'm sitting out here as I'm trying to get propped up for this and I'm drinking coffee. And there's a bee chasing me now. Deborah in the Hebrew means a busy bee. <laughs> and Deborah wants nothing to do but be busy right now. I don't like being down and every bone in my body and everything is in flame as well as my eye and my sinuses and yes, of course, I'm doing all the necessary uh, natural things to build up the immunity system. And your fur kits, are they working like, you know, acting a little bizarre? I don't know. Dora seems to think that no squirrels can come back here now that they've been not here for a few days, but they're out in full force. <laughs> uh, nor could I really, you know, get out here and, and do it. All I wanted to do was sleep, and I felt so bad, and had things to do, and, you know, your mind gets going, and wow. But I knew one thing was for sure. I've had a dream, and I'm going to share that in a minute. But um, I felt like the most eeriest thing was about to take place. This was prior to what happened last night. And then the storm happened. All right, tornadoes in November? Wow. Okay, that's not normal. And then the cold went behind it, and then I, I look at the forecast. Don't forget, forecasting is prediction. Uh, nobody can predict anything. <laughs> That's witchcraft. All right, so isn't that crazy how we've been programmed to believe this stuff, right? All right, so enough said there. And I'm sure my squirrels are going to come over very gently. <laughs> there. Hey, it's critter time, right? You want two? Here you go. So, okay, I have had so many dreams about certain things, and specifically, cruise ships. Cruise ships, well, if you look up the definition, of course, it means travel, it means peace, it means faith, it means, you know, if, you know, depending on Aquarius, of course, if your cruise ship is in you know, one of them storms or something, that's totally different, but no, every one of my dreams have been calming and wonderful, and people always wanted to party, but I always wanted to get out of the party and go do something else, and most everyone that I've had has been, like, with rooms and, um, people I didn't really recognize or know. So again, I didn't recognize anybody, but I knew that I knew them. Now this happened as I'm, <laughs> honestly, I took a nap yesterday just so I could hopefully believe in a clearing of the sky so I could see it. But, oh my goodness, the first one ever. So there was a reason why they were hiding that, all right? And I have to read in between the lines here um, for what I'm trying to say. What was it? Why was it in some parts of the po uh, country that you could see it very clearly and visibly, but yet here, I don't know. It's election day. 
everything's going red, I believe. In Jesus' name, <laughs> please, Lord. Oh, well, whatever. Political has nothing to do with this. Although, they're pushing it uh, big time. And we know, <laughs> we should know already that they don't count when we do go. They're not elected, they're selected. God puts them in place. He's the one that puts the kings in and removes the kings. So again, he's orchestrating everything. The signs and the sun and the moon and the stars, the perplexity on earth. He, he's the orchestrator. He's like, you know, I see him like in front of a symphony with the uh, sticks there telling, you know, which parts of the orchestra to play. <laughs> so, wow. You just got to watch for those signs. They're everywhere. Seriously, 12, 12, everywhere. 12 times 12 is 144, right? All right, well, I know also that when the Lord seals that last 144th, we're out of here. I don't know if he's done it yet or not. We haven't had that discussion. Okay, so back to the dream. So... This was crazy because I kept waking up trying to, or wanting to, see a glimpse of that. And I guess what I couldn't say last night, and I forgot to say, was that Uranus, being a blue planet, it was on my app called the Frosty Planets because it's ice cold. And it was on the other side of the moon in between, you know, the lunar eclipse. So it wasn't visible to the naked eye because it was behind at the sun, uh, behind the moon. And they were calling it frosty. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's really crazy. And then the beaver moon, right? All right, so we know all those details. So in my dream, I remember, and this is always mostly when they're the most real, is like normally right before waking up and oh this was so real just like the others and yeah I never did come out and share them but they're pretty much all the same so I'm standing there in front of a group of people and everybody wanted to go here there and everywhere right um, kind of like today um, get out and do things And things that, you know, I don't normally like to do. But yet, there was something in me that said, no, I really want to get a tan. I really do. I love tanning. And I know that, you know, you get vitamin D from the sun since we haven't had any. I don't think for any reason whatsoever was I sublimab sublimably, whatever that word is, thinking <laughs> that I needed sunshine. Um, because I do take the supplements, so right, so you can, you know, and I've been eating good. That, that's what's really crazy. I've been eating all the right things. Um, but the way this happened, you know, I should have expected that, well, something was going to come out of that air, <laughs> especially seeing all the patterns on Sunday. So, back to the dream. I apologize. Dora's over there sniffing the birdie thing. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. And she's chasing squirrels, so she's up to no good. Thank you. All right. Well, let's get this little guy some here before we can go on. Molly's sitting there with her ear back. Yeah. No, I, I can tell that you're not very trusting of them today. I wouldn't be either. That's why I got my, my broom out. I won't hit them with it, but. I, I kind of like use that as a threat. <laughs> and I mean it was something I used to say to the kids all the time, and they knew I never meant it. <laughs> Nor would I. I couldn't harm a fly. In fact, that was the thing. The bee, the bee that was flying all around me, ended up in my cup, <laughs> and I was floating. It was floating. So I grabbed a nut, I got him out of the cup, I figured, oh, well, he sweetened it a little bit, and I threw him out there. <laughs> I can't kill a fly even. I, I shoo them away. Okay, back to the dream.
So in my dream, I'm sitting there in front of a group of people in this big room, kind of like a center of the ship even maybe, but it was like a dining area. People were eating. People were just being very busy. And the group that I was with said, you know, well, hey, we want to go here or there or whatever. And I'm like, well, I really want to go get a tan. And somebody recommended that maybe you should go sit in a tanning booth for, for 20 minutes or so and get some color. And I'm like, no, there's nothing better than walking along the beach and putting your feet in the sand. And that's when you really get a good tan when the sun reflects off the water. Well, anyways, I could go on and on emotionally about that. But the point was, was that I didn't want anything to do with what they wanted to do because it wasn't what I normally like to do. I think you can understand that part. Um, but I did want to so much get out there on that beach. I so did want to get out there and put my feet in the sand and walk along the ocean and the peace. So as I'm talking to the Lord and interpreting this dream and looking up certain things, that's exactly what it was saying about uh, the, the sea being calm as it was, meant tranquility, but it also meant a new chapter, a new beginning. <laughs> Are we looking for that new beginning? Um, cruise ship, it's a form of travel. Um, even though I make jokes about them being petri dishes, which they are um, in real life, they're also in a dream so much more. Wow. Well, there was probably other parts of this dream that um, are not important, other than the fact that they were kept co coaxing me to go into the tanning bed instead of taking the time to go walk the beach. For some reason, we were close enough, either we were docked or I could see the beach from where I was standing even inside the room and I said no I I'm gonna go out there and therefore that's exactly what I did I, I saw myself that's crazy walking through the door um, and heading out to the beach that's where I was going oh there's a bee on me now oh no <laughs> okay sorry bees everywhere what's going on not that I'm allergic to them or anything I just don't like being stoned um, okay, so I'm messing this up everywhere. All right, so along with, if anybody didn't get to the Howe uh, report, he was talking about how the military puts out codes and things like this, and there happen to be 11, all right? And they can only understand this, along with the fact that if you remembered, what, probably the 1st of October, or just a few weeks ago, I told you how my phone came up with that alert, and then apparently there were several people just in the past couple of days reporting that they're getting these alerts on their phone, and they're just a testing, okay? T testing, one, two, three, and they're also implanting seeds of fear, all right? So no fear in Jesus. Okay, so yesterday morning just so happened um, when I was looking at the TV, I saw something go across the ticker tape thing on the bottom. It said something about where there was a threat of a, a nuclear whatever if such and such team didn't win. Uh, I don't know who's playing that game, so I just kind of laughed. And I'm like, all right, well, I don't know what teams are playing right now or who's who or what's what, and that's not important because... I'm looking for Jesus, <laughs> not that. Bombs come down, we go up, no matter where we are in the world, but there's craziness going on everywhere. Weather, chaos, is, this is crazy. I, I just get upset with it because, you know, I can handle all this. It's just the mud's everywhere. <laughs> like I'm picking up mud. Oh my, and my bones hurt so bad and to the point where I can't function, I can't move, and look, I come out today, and it's like, and I've cut blossoms on this hibiscus. 
Are you kidding me? This is crazy. And of course, we still got nuts and we still got, I see more flowers on the pepper plant there. I didn't even pinch it back at her. I haven't had time or the ability to get out here and do these things. And the big bush over here is also getting plan, uh, plenty of new growth on it as well. So what is going on? And what's this all about? Well, I don't know. I think we know that, you know, one, what, everything is coming together. All planned by design, by God, God alone. And we know that it is by grace, right? Through faith, through Christ alone, that we are saved. And there's only one way to the Father. Oh, you don't have to beg, little buddy. Come here. And Molly, you better put those ears up and look cute. You want water? You want nuts? I don't know. They look so cute when they drink, too. <laughs> um, sorry for the distractions. But, so, I think that, you know, the whatever codes they were putting out there, I've talked to military families, I've talked to military people that I know, and nobody's been alerted to come in. Um, I've also talked to some people that were truckers and the prices are what is keeping some of these companies as far as raising the rates on food and stuff like that distribution these would be the big refrigerated trucks right so i also know that people who um work for certain companies you know they pay for everything so they'll get taken care of but i'm thinking all right well you know, the, biblically speaking, the Euphrates is drying up big time, um, almost all dried up, and that's where everybody comes in to invade Israel, okay? We can't make this stuff up. This is happening now. Um, there was a video I was watching yesterday that said that more people are even searching the meaning of the Euphrates drying up more now than ever people's eyes are opening y'all people are, are starting to see people are starting to ask questions people that we've even talked to before are, are ready to receive um just praying for wisdom praying for you know how uh, you know, if we've damaged relationships along the way, of course we have. We all have. Um, just in our urgency of trying to tell them, trying to warn them, and or our anxiety over the fact that they got what they shouldn't have. But, hey, that was also their decision. God gave us free will, right, to choose. And many of them were believers, so... Wow, okay, a little shock there. We need to stick with the Word of God. You know, so many times I've been told, go back to Genesis. That's the way we get the thinking, thinking out of the way that, you know, through all these years that we started listening to this one or listening to that one, and it kind of complicated things. And, and then all of a sudden when we see certain things happen, we start thinking, wow, could this be this? Could this be that? But wait, does it line up with the Word of God? That's the point. It's got to line up with the Word. Um, the cruise ship dreams that I've been having over and over, the same ones, and the family reunions, same dreams, um, over and over. I, I know that the Lord is talking and speaking loudly. There you go, buddy. Oh, no, manna from heaven. He grabs one. I know that that's one of their entrances over there. I got a few holes. <laughs> Baby possums are everywhere. Is that normal? No, no. I don't think so. But what is normal? Right? So we're not looking for a normal day anymore. Um, we're looking for is the time of, no of Noah. What was happening during that time? This was also when the fallen angels had come down and mated with women which created the Nephilim, and this is why God destroyed, right? But saved eight, his number. 
what's happening now. Well, all of the above, and also the fact that people are trying to mess with people's DNA by in putting potions in them that are hurting them. They're, they're making them sick. They're making them, I don't know, zombie-like and hard to understand, hard to comprehend. They can't seem to rationalize even, you know, a mother, by all means, who taught her children, you don't even need a flu shot because that gives you the flu. <laughs> Just me saying it, okay? I have no medical field other than being a mother. Um, and my own experience is, is that gives you the flu. So then you're supposed to build up an immune immunity to it. Well, we know that nobody's going to build up any immunities to what they're passing out now. And it's also for fear. So when they got their making you look somewhere else for something, just know that, uh, wait, this might be making us want to look somewhere else. Israel, all right, there's a lot of stuff going on over there right now. Okay, Psalm 33, this war is about ready to take place. As far as the U.S., don't forget, everything's going to be okay for a while um, until it's heard of no more because she's not here anymore. But right now, she still is a superpower. She still is the number one Christian country in the world. Europe is hurting really bad, y'all. I, I don't know if you all know. And, and Canada, oh my goodness, to the north. Our, our sister from the north is hurting really, really bad. They're going through, I want to say, witch trials up there, uh, literally, because I want to lynch them all. And, but yet, what also was happening, that's amazing, is God did say that we would see the reward of the wicked, right? And oh, my goodness. They're bringing out these people that were put in jail for for freedom, <laughs> because it is for freedom, he set us free, right? Um, and standing up for our, ours and their rights, all right? We're all in this together, the whole world. We are. You want this? Come here, Bob. You want the little one? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get out here and scurry, because this girl over here keeps chasing me. I don't blame you. Oh, it keeps going over there. Okay, must be where one of the dens are. I don't know. I just have to play dog psychiatrist, cat psychiatrist, <laughs> squirrel psychiatrist. <laughs> oh yeah, manna from heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for the provision. Oh yes, yeah. so I do believe that something is about to break. It's going to be about to break open. The Mississippi has dried up. That would be, you know, the fact that nobody can get shipments places. Um, as much of, but yet I'm still talking to people all over the country that are saying that, yeah, their stores seem to be pretty much okay. And I do believe that this is God's grace saying, hey, get out there and get your supplies now while you can. All right? So, yeah, learn. Hey, we just gotta, <laughs> we just gotta do what we can to survive and we will forever how long we have to because God said that he would provide and he's our covering he's our protector he's our everything and by the way did you also know that he's still in the healing business he's still in the miracle business <laughs> he's still in he's still God he's not moved by anything um, not like we are right um, and we have emotions and things that can take us places and my goodness the fact that my face hurts is just making me angry uh righteous anger of course <laughs> oh my goodness but look this is all cleared up now so no they couldn't wait i'm sure the sun will shine sometime today it was always shining anyways you just couldn't see it kind of wasn't even looking like that yesterday this was so dense there there was absolutely no traffic at the airport wow People are dying, y'all. People who've had the potion 
and our elderly are going down really, really fast and or having medical complications like never before. And it is not what people are thinking it is. And I've been attacked so many times for taking up for Jesus. That's all right. I will stand with Jesus no matter what. He's worth taking up for, by the way. Standing with, standing for. And I know I've made this so long, but it's kind of like cuteness when you when you see the kids. I haven't been able to get to that trail cam over there, find out what's going on <laughs> in the backyard. But today, wow, the squirrels seem to be coming out of everywhere and saying, feed me, feed me. They're storing, you see? They're storing and they're planning. So they're talking to us. Now, this garden has spoken to us for years. I'm unreal. I'm just amazed to be alive for a time just like this. I'm blessed to be a blessing. If I can help just one person, if I can just comfort one person, if I can bring hope to one person, oh my, that's all I care about is love. And there's no greater love than Jesus. Nothing. Nothing can cut, substitute that. Nothing. For God so loved the world. The whole world. He created this. And he created us for his pleasure. How awesome is our daddy. So. I'll just say that this is Debbie from Texas. Sorry so long. Peace out. Maranatha. Let's keep looking up. Because the king surely is coming. <laughs>